Hello everyone, and welcome to the Deeply Renegade podcast. My name is Molly, also known as the Deeply Renegade. I'd like to welcome you guys to episode 131. Um, today is um, Sunday, April 17th, 2016, and I'm glad you could join me today. Um, we'll see whether or not you guys can hear the rain noise. Um, it's definitely raining out, but I am on my covered porch, so it's not a big deal. drinking coffee. I have um, Texas pecan now, which is pretty tasty. Not as flavorlicious as the Mexican vanilla, but still pretty good. And I probably have a decent amount to show you guys this week. Um, there was a internal conference this week, so I s ended up getting a decent amount of knitting time because of that. So what I'm working on now is my hand spun crescent citron. So I am very nearly to a darker color. I've had a pretty long string of light colors, um, as you can see. <laughs> so nice to be getting to something bigger. Um, and what is it? At this point, I actually have. Um, what, at least like a foot of depth, but now things are sort of scrunched up on the needles so it's a little bit harder to see. Um, but I have um, 480 stitches now, I ended up counting to see because I'm going to be doubling soon. Uh, I still need to purl back, but that's the story there. But I now have nine ruching sections done. Um, the original pattern had like five. <laughs> So this guy, this guy is going to be pretty big, much bigger than the original pattern. Um, though that called for 50 grams of lace weight. Um, and you can see how far I came this week from my dangling little stitch marker thing. So, um, so I got through some plain section, a ruching section, and almost all the way through another plain section. So pretty good this week. I'll go attach it on this side. Okay, that'll probably be close enough for now. So, um, so it is not very exciting knitting, and actually I brought up my scale. So I was curious about how far I got in. So I'll power it on and see what happens. I think it's in grams. Maybe it's in ounces. I'm not sure. Nope, it's in ounces. No big deal. Alright, so there is 2.17 ounces. Okay. Grams. All right, so 61 and a half grams to go. Um, so if this was four ounces to begin with, I'm at the halfway point now. <laughs> so not too shabby, all things considered. And just for giggles, oh, that's pretty generous. I have 47 and a half grams of the silk. So, let me turn off you. Okay, so, I'm at the halfway point now. Um, that will probably not be as many, um, what would it be? So that wouldn't be as many um, things left to go, so maybe I'll get up to 12 or something like that before doing the bind off. Um, I'll just sort of have to take a wait and see approach or maybe do some research on the pattern to figure out how much to do. Um, I'm going to probably do a different ruffle than what's called for in the pattern. I'll probably end up doing, um, what is it, I'll probably end up doing um, a ribbed ruffle instead. But that is the state of that. So, 
so coming along nicely. It's going to be a long curl back row, and then I'm going to be doubling again. So a little bit more progress than I was expecting. <laughs> Um, the other thing that ended up getting some love this week was my um, Skip Rip socks, um, aka the Simple Spite socks. Um, I was working on these a decent amount yesterday, trying to, um, what was it? Unfortunately, for some reason this has been really challenging <laughs> to keep in pattern. I'm not sure why. I don't know if I need to have like a dangly marker or something like that um, to keep track of things, but I did get quite some ways into it, so I put in the pearl bumps that I'm away on the ribbing now, um, or the in-pattern ribbing. Um, if we do a little head-to-head -head comparison here, um, I still have maybe two inches more of the pattern to go before um, I launch into the heel flap, but it is coming along. Um, it's just been a little bit, for some reason I've been having a hard time uh, reading my knitting and figuring out if, I, if the row is one where I need to do the pattern or not, because otherwise it's a pretty simple row. So, it is coming along though. I don't think last week I was still with the ribbing yet, so making progress. Um, still, the ball's getting sort of diffuse, but I know I have more than I need because the first sock was 50 grams and I had like 63 left, so it was really um, a 4 ounce skein instead of a 100 gram skein. Okay. So, um,. I did end up casting something new on this week. Um, I ended up doing a little bit of swatching and figured I was um, close enough um, with the recommended needle to go ahead and start. So this is um, the Hit A Few Day. Um, it is, um, what is it, a cardigan, 50 jillion and a half people have knitted already, um, and I am about ready to launch into the pattern. Um, just doing a quick... Doing a quick sanity check here to make sure that my... I actually am using my size 4 needles, and I am. That's good. Um, so, because my Shagu set is, or my interchangeable set, is out of commission at the moment, um, well, what is it? My long cable is in the Citron, and that's only halfway done at this point. Um, I had my other cable break, so I need to get a hold of grandma's knitting needles and get that dealt with. And that long cable, I think, is about ready to break as well, so I'm going to have to get um, two replacements, unfortunately. So um, I did the setup rows, and instead of doing a provisional cast on, I ended up doing Judy's Magic cast on, so one on a size 5 and one on a size 4, because those are the size of the Shogu needles I have. Um, and I have been, um, so I'm going to be launching into the pattern soon. Um, I checked gauge um, on a little 2 by 4 pattern repeat thing. Um, and so with a little bit of light blocking, it, it'll be fine. Um, it was on the, the close enough end of things, if that makes any sense. And I was like only like four stitches shy on the bind off so I took some yarn from the end because the way my gradient works is that I have um what is it so then I have teal on the inside and teal on the outside and that's just like totally blown out in terms of colors but um I'm starting from the outside um this is the little bit left on 
over from my swatch, and it has begun. Like, um, I ended up casting on for the medium size, um, and we'll see where things go from there. Um, I had like almost 1400 yards of yarn, so that should be good, and I kept sort of waffling on whether or not I wanted to knit it at a looser gauge or not. Um, but I think the fabric ended up turning out fine. I'll probably have some pictures on my Instagram. Um, along those lines, trying to figure out what was going on. But um, this is also going to be... So the yarn is um, Alicia Goes Around. Um, my hand spun, I ended up having eight, turning eight ounces into um, 1,380 yards. Um, with like a lace, light fingering sort of thing. Um, probably just lace. <laughs> um, and uh, it is a part of my spin the bin this year, and we're doing a special thing this year where we end up getting um, special prizes if you knit with your bin yarns within the year. So. Um, this was a pretty easy choice in order to get knitting on a bin yarn. And that's actually my only completed bin yarn at this point. Um, I should probably launch into spinning at this point. So, um, I just weighed this while I was weighing the other thing. And this is uh, my 48 grams of silk singles that I've wound into a ball for plying. Um, I'm going to be plying it with my other ply, which I'm working on spinning now, but I did manage to get this finished. And you can definitely, it's a little bit rough <laughs> um, on the outside because I think I was still trying to figure out how in the world to spin silk. Um, so um, it is fairly lightly twisted, but seems to be holding together fairly well, and it has that certain interesting silk feeling to it. <laughs> but um, I don't know, just, I don't know if this is going to do justice to, col to the colors, but um, it has that brighter magenta, the darker purple, a chartreuse, and a forest green um, as like the main colors in there. So um, that's going. I was glad to get that off the spindle, um, and then I started the next half. So. This is what I have done so far. So this is, um, oh, what is it? So this is um, silk six silk hankies into the next set of plies, um, and these ones end up coordinating with each other a lot more than the other ones did. So um, this one, if I can unfurl it is the rainforest so it has a a bright green a kelly green and then a turquoise and then the other one is blue moon and then it has this matching turquoise along with a bluish purple um and then a layer so there we go finally got the colors sort of close um, so, um, I'm trying to line up the teal parts with the teal parts when I'm spinning it, um, because I think that would look fairly pretty, um, and hopefully I'll sort of get into a pattern for where I'm breaking things and whatnot. I think I ended up breaking on the acidy green, or having the interface be between the acidy green and the turquoise. Um, so I get I started that Friday night and I haven't worked on it since. Um, and then I have another packet of this. And what I'm doing a little bit differently from the last time, which is making it maybe a little bit harder to carry around, is that instead of um, doing two hankies of um, so instead of doing two hankies of um, one color and one hanky of the other, I'm actually doubling up on the hankies. So it'd be the case where I'm doing two of Blue Moon and then four of the Rainforest. 
Um, so that should result in a slightly different color sequence and that sort of thing. So, um, as I, I'm like, by play basically playing together greens and pinks, I know it's going to be a ridiculously barber pull yarn. But I just wanted to sort of um, maximize that to a certain extent so it wasn't the case where the same things were falling on top of each other because the hanky was about the same, but making them um, definitely different instead of a little different. That makes any sense. Um, the other thing that ended up getting some love this week was my fiber optic. So I'm almost out of the purple and into um, the blue on this guy. Um, let's see. I don't even know how much this is in the grand scheme of things. Um, so this is a part of my... So the silk is also my February spin the bin. The fiber optic is supposed to be my March spin the bin. And... Okay. So, I'm not quite halfway into the first um, four ounces of the ply. So, yeah. Oh, well, such is life. Um, so that was 76 grams, so that's a little... it's almost halfway, but not quite. Um, obviously, um, what is it? I need to focus on this a little bit more. <laughs> Like, why did I start a new project? I don't know. It's a mystery. But, let's see if I can show off on the fiber. Do, 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 do. Poor coffee. Alright, so here we go. So, um, so I have the darker purple, here is the lighter purple, which I was working on the week before. Um, and slowly but surely filling this guy up. I managed to do a couple of hours of spinning on this yesterday. Um, it was nice and mindless spinning. Um, and it does spin up lovely. Um, it is, um... What is it? I think it's ending up making a, sort of a light fingering to ply when it plies up against itself, so um, maybe even a lace weight to ply. Um, I'm planning on plying this with the other braid and probably, um, which I still need to spin the singles for as well, so this is still the first half of the braid. Um, but me. <laughs> Um, oh, what is it? So, in terms of, so that'd be the case where that's supposed to be my March spin the bin. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to spin next yet because there is obviously an awful lot of spinning works of progress going on at once as well as knitting works in progress as well. Um, uh, what would it be? So, I think that's actually everything I wanted to cover this week, so lots of projects, lots of things going on, but I did manage to get something at least mostly done. <laughs> um, so that's cool. Um, so I should be able to record next week, so if today is the 17th, that'll be the 24th. Um, and we'll see where things go from there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try to go on a crazy sock finishing spree, because I think I wanted to finish a project before I started a new one, and then I started a new one anyways, so... Nah, whatever. <laughs> Lindsay had some questions about the swatch, so I went ahead and bought the pattern. <laughs> and ended the swatch, and then swatching leads to sweaters, so... <laughs> That sounds like a pretty good episode title. I like that. So, um, I hope you guys all have a lovely week, and I look forward to talking to you guys next week. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.